Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Space Station Tycoon, which is a game where we manage a space station and we try to generate as much space profit as we can from passers-by. So if it helps, it's a little bit like Deep Space Nine, but if Quark were in charge, so gone are the Federation and all of their principles and goals and all that kind of troublesome restrictive stuff, and in come the Ferengi with their rules of acquisition and their big ears and their obsession with making a profit. So yes, it's a little bit like that I suppose, and if you don't watch or know anything about Star Trek, and that will have meant entirely nothing to you at all, but just go with it, it's fine. We're building a space station to make great big heaps of cash, that is all you need to know. So we'll be building things like docking bays and trading posts, we'll be offering services to the customers, we've got to buy in lots of goods, all whilst providing power and maintaining the place, plus there is research to be done too, and we have to defend the base from baddies who want to come along and do us some harm. So all in all, there is quite a lot going on, it's quite an involved job running a space station. This is the early access build of the game so it's not the finished version, they're still adding bits and bobs to it, but it's on Steam now, and if you're interested, then of course there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, and we were given a key to this by the devs, which is very nice, so thank you devs, that's very kind of you indeed, but anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's just go to space and build ourselves a brand new lovely space station. So here we go, and the first thing we need to do is give our space station a name, and then we choose the difficulty and the starting money and all that kind of stuff, but right, first things first, what shall we call our lovely new exciting space station? Let's call it Deep Space Cupboard, shall we? I like the sound of that. That sounds very good indeed. And do you know what? If you want to go and get a really good cup of space tea, you get it from Deep Space Cupboard. That's what we're going to be known for. Really, really high quality cups of space tea. So there we go. Name settled. In terms of all of these sort of settings, we'll keep everything on default. So medium difficulty. We shall start with 20,000 money. Not entirely sure what kind of currency we're working in. Is it credits or dollars or space monies? I do not know. We've got eight AI competitors. Now these toggles here, I will admit, did confuse me a little bit because there's no kind of indication as to which way round is on and which way is off. So I've had a little play with this and I have done the uh, tutorial as well. And when the toggle is to the left, it's off. And when it's to the right, it's on. So we are going to have natural disasters, but the tutorial is not going to be enabled, which is absolutely fine. And then we get to kind of choose the accent color and the lights and the logo of the station as well. So, okay, right, so accent color. We have to go kind of geek over corporate with this. So how about, there's a blue there and there's kind of a sort of a yellowy kind of color there. It's a bit orangey, but I don't think there's a sort of a bright yellow. So that might have to do. Okay, so what if we go for that as the accent and then the lights can be blue? Okay, I quite like that. And then what if we swap that round? There's a blue just there, and then there's that kind of orangey yellow just there. I think I prefer it the other way round. I think I like the lights being blue. Yeah, I quite like that. I like the very bright sort of blue neon light effect there. Okay, right, we'll choose that. And then in terms of the logo, is there anything that resembles a cup or a mug or anything like that at all? I do not think there is. There's a kind of a thing here which looks a bit like a C for cupboard, I don't actually know what it is. It looks a little bit like a kind of sinister grabbing claw type thing, but do you know what? It's a C. It's a C for cupboard and that will do the job just fine. There we go. Right, everything ready to go. Let's pop out into space and go and have a look at Deep Space Cupboard. Actually, you know, out in deep space, I suppose. So here we go and welcome to Deep Space Cupboard, everybody. And you might be looking at the background here. You might be looking at the vast array of stars behind us and you might be thinking, yes, they very much are in deep space, but apparently not. We are not quite as deep into space as I thought we might have been, because if we just pan the camera around a little bit, there are quite a few planets dotted around the place. There's a kind of planet with a red bit on it there. Then there's a planet over there with some kind of rings forming. Then there's a little sort of lava planet. Then there's an absolutely massive gigantic planet with some sort of superstructure being built around it. Then there's a planet just there which I think has seen better days. It looks like it's kind of fallen apart. Then there's what looks like a kind of very nice Gaia world. Then there's whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. I'm not entirely sure. A kind of planet in the middle with some yellow stuff around it and then purple wooshy things around that. They're all scientific terms, obviously. And then a kind of ice frozen world just there. So we're not quite as deep into space as I thought we might be. There are quite a lot of planets around us. But sure, well, that's fine. That's fine. We can pick up more passing trade between all these planets. So here we go. This is our space station. So up here, we've got 20,000 money. We've got no power currently because of course we're not doing much with it. We've got no research and we've got no people and no staff and no anything really. So what we need to do is we need to get building. So let us pop into the build menu. So what we need to do is we need to extend one of these arms out here. So this is where we actually build all of our things. They come out of these little arms sticking out here. So at the moment, there's nothing going on. So how about we just extend this bit out of it? 
because that's what we need to do. We need to branch this out and then we can kind of tack things onto the side and put things on the top. So let's go to there. So expand your station. Do you want to expand your space station for 500 credits? Absolutely. I mean, I want to do it for zero credits, but yo, it's 500. That's the cost. There we go. So now we have ourselves this kind of little kind of walkway, I suppose. It's a little place where I guess, you know, it's got an environment inside and all that kind of stuff. But now we can put things on top and we can attach things to the side. So what we need to do is we need to get people docking here. We need to get people here. And then when we get more visitors, we get level ups. So we want to get 100 visitors, get to level one. That gives us all sorts of exciting things that we can kind of unlock and we can build more advanced things. We get money for getting 100 visitors. We get ourselves some research points. So it's well worth doing. It is a very good thing. And to do that, we need some docking bays. So let's get us a docking bay just there and a docking bay just there. And they magically appear. But as you can see, there is a bit of a problem with the docking bays because yes, there are big kind of red warning things. There's no power and there's no staff working on them. So power, easy to sort out. We'll go down to the power tab down here. Solar panels, lovely solar panels. They cost 1,250. I mean, it says C. So I'm guessing we're working in credits. It just says money up there, space monies. So 1,250 space monies, and we put it on the top. They kind of slot onto the top here. So the sort of these utility things, so solar panels and your gun batteries and things go on the top. They kind of pop onto the top here. So if we put a solar panel on, it magically beams into existence. And now we are providing 30 power of the 30 required because each bay needs 15 power. So there we go. So we have a couple of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build some more docking bays because I think we need I think we need two lots of those. So we need those two there. And then I think we need some more over here. Now, what we could do is we could branch that out, but that costs a thousand. It costs a thousand now because obviously it's going further away from your main core bit. Whereas this one here is 500 because it's the first time it's been extended. So we'll save ourselves 500 monies and we'll just do that one there and then pop a solar panel on top and get two docking bays, one just there and one just there. Marvellous. So now we're just lacking people. We're lacking staff to actually work in these places. So let us click on here. I think each one requires one person. Yeah, there's one staff that works in a docking bay. So let us change the staff. We have no staff at all. This is our general staff roster. Nobody works here. So let us recruit some people and it costs 700 money. So just look at the list of recruits. My goodness me. Okie dokie, that's fine. Right, so here we go. So we can see that there are, how many are there? One, two, three, four. There's five people. There are five potential candidates um, and they have their own wage and they have a trait. And it seems that if they have a good trait, which is in green, they cost an awful lot more money. Do you know what we might have to do to start with? We might have to pick some, some rubbish people. I think we hire Tim Brown, who's lazy. So he's 10% less efficient. That's really bad, though. That's really bad. Pessimistic is he's, he's not happy. So John Davis is pessimistic. So he's a little bit grumpy. Tim Brown's just lazy. And Billy Johnson is sensitive. However, Adam Williams is smart. And Scott Smith is tough. I mean, we need four people. We need four people. So we need to leave somebody behind. I mean, I think we get Scott Smith because we're going to have to take one of the good people. And I think Adam Williams is just too expensive. So let's get you. Let's get Scott Smith. And then, yeah, we're just going to have to take the three rubbish people. So, okay, we'll have you, we'll have you, and we'll have you. I'm sorry, Adam Williams. You've got a very lovely purple t-shirt on, but you're too expensive. But bye now. Um, good luck in your future work endeavours. Um, right, and now we need to assign people into the docking bay. So, um, I don't know. How about Scott Smith goes in whatever bay that was, number two. And then across from Scott Smith, who is tough, let's have... Let's not put Billy Johnson, who's sensitive, because Scott Smith might, you know, sort of intimidate him a bit. Uh, let's have, let's have John Davis. Let's have pessimistic John Davis over there. And then over here, it does not really matter. Let's put you, Tim Brown, in that one. And then over in this one, we shall have Billy Johnson. Okay. And then there's a docking fee and there's a fuel price. So people pay to actually dock, just to actually land, and then they pay to fuel up. Now, what I think we might do is... Let's up the docking fee a little bit and then we can synchronize that across all of the different sort of docking bays. There we go. Wonderful. And now I think we just want to move time on and welcome some people. We seem to have a, a message. Your old pal Hector. Hello, Hector. Long time no see. Started a space station. Yep. Yeah, okay. What's he saying to do? 
He's saying build some docking bays and hangars. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Right, Hector, we're on it. We're on it, Hector. The tutorial told me to do that. You might have featured in that. I can't remember. But there we go. So now we just sit and wait. Now what should happen is a little kind of silhouette type, sort of blueprint type thing should appear above the bays when somebody is going to arrive. There, exactly like that. So this bay is now booked and somebody is going to come along here. They're going to fly their spaceship in and land. And there we go. Right, hang on a second. Pause because we can click on them and find out what's going on. So this is Natalie Smith. She's unemployed. She's 42. And she <laughs> she thinks this is a horrible place. She's not even landed yet. Natalie Smith, you've not even landed. And you're already judging us. But there we go. So they've landed. And ooh. Okay, this is interesting. Right, so when they have a trade button that looks like that, so it's kind of a grey trade button with red writing on, I think this means that they're a bit of a... They're a bit of a ne'er-do-well. They're a smuggler, I think. So if we click that, yes, they're an intergalactic smuggler. And you can buy various items, you can buy things, and you craft things, and you use things to do upgrades and such. Um, do you want to get involved with a smuggler? I don't think we want to get involved in anybody right now. And then they've got a mission as well. Okay, illegal mission offer. Hello, my name is Natalie Smith. I've been trying to smuggle some weapons into sector KL-98. Oh, don't try that. They're very strict over there. But it seems impossible with the recent security precautions. I have to leave them here for a while and pick them up later. So the objective, protect that item, whatever it is, for three and a half months in exchange for almost 6,000 credits. Oh, that's... Now, when I read this initially, I was thinking, no, we don't, we don't want to get involved in anything illegal and dodgy. We don't want to get involved in anything nefarious. No, absolutely not. We're going to be a lovely, honest space station. But six grand, 6,000 credits in, in exchange for just looking after this thing for three and a half months. The only thing is, if pirates do come along and try and attack us a bit, we are going to be in a spot of bother because we have no defences of any kind. But that's a lot of money. Do you know what, Natalie Smith? You're our first visitor. You have yourself a deal. Yeah, okay, right. We might not do that too often because I imagine that might be frowned upon, but just this once, that's absolutely fine. There we go. And we can see that we've had one visitor. The one visitor we've had is Natalie Smith, whatever she was called, Natalie Smith over there. And we're not going to trade with you. Hang on, so move time on a bit quicker. And there we go. This one is booked. Very nice. Hello, how are you? This is Ilona Brown, a mercenary. She also thinks this place is horrible. Oh, crikey, she's got a mission as well. Um, protect that for two and a half months in exchange for 1,736 credits. We've got one sort of protection mission on the go already. I think possibly having another one might be a little bit silly. So how long have we got to hold that till? Until, oh, look at this. Loads of people are coming in. So some people just come in. They just grab a bit of fuel. That person had a mission for us, but that's absolutely fine. You're going to come in here. Let's have a look at you. Um, Catelyn, Catelyn Davis, a scientist. She also thinks this is a horrible place. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I haven't had a chance to put any decoratives around the place. I was going to put a space tree up, but apparently we can't do that yet. Um, let go more people coming in. There's quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of sort of black market smuggler people going on. We've not had many legitimate trading people like that. That's a normal trader, an intergalactic merchant. Anna, this is interesting. This could be quite handy. So we need to buy various bits and bobs. We need all sorts of uh, space equipment to do upgrades and such. And I think maybe circuitry might be quite useful. That might be quite a handy thing. In you know, I've heard circuitry is going to be quite handy in the future. There you go. Look, it's a bit of electro electronic, a simple piece of electronic with transistors, resistors, and capacitors on it. Tis the future. Um, let's buy... Shall we just buy one? Let's just buy one of those right now, just to get that in stock. So, you know, we'll spend a little bit of our money, but yeah, I'm a little bit sort of... I'm acutely aware that our money is not going up a great deal. We are kind of getting a lot of people in, but we're paying... Also, we're getting paid for them arriving, and if they refuel, we get paid. But then we're paying our staff wages, and I think everything we put on does have an upkeep as well. Yeah, so that there... The upkeep of that is 350. 350 monies we pay out on that, I think, just to maintain the thing. And that's going to be 350. That's obviously, they're all 350. And the solar panels are 150. So it's quite expensive to run this place. So I think we kind of just need to get through to the 100 visitors. Go up to a sort of reputation or a status, whatever it is, of one. And then just see what we can do from there. Because I think we get money. 
and we definitely get some research stuff. So I think that's what we do. We just wait. Hang on. Where's where's the lady giving us our money? There. Oh my goodness me. The unknown tech has been retrieved and we got ourselves 6,000 monies. Okay, right. We have a little bit more money now. So can we have a look at possibly upgrading something? What if we upgrade our docking bays? So that there lowers the upkeep cost. Okay, hang on a minute. What do we need to do to do that? So we need some sort of screws or bolts or whatever. And metal, I would guess. I assume that's metal or steel or something. Okay. Um, okay, so that, what does that do? That lowers upkeep. That increases the ideal landing fee and fuel prices. Oh. Oh, that could be quite good. And that's, that's exactly the same. Okay. And this one here decreases the refuel durations. Not so bothered about that. Nah, I'm not so bothered about that. Um, it would be quite nice to get some of those things in, wouldn't it? With our money, with our ill-gotten gains. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Screws. Keeps huge metal chunks together. That sounds like a good idea. What else is there? What's that? An emissive shroom. Okay. A mushroom that keeps glowing even when it's cooked. Why would you cook this? You run away from this. Um, a drone blueprint is quite expensive. And a um, speed charger. Oh, that's monstrously expensive. We have no, no way of being able to afford that. Um, okay, how about we buy some screws? What if we buy four of them? I mean, how many have they got? What if we buy eight? And that's enough to do the upgrades on some of those. That's 1,000 of our money. So we've got 12,000. But we did just get about six grand in dodgy, illegal smuggling money. Do you know what? Let's do that. Let's buy eight of those things. So we have eight screws. And now we just need to buy the other thing. The other thing, whatever it was, metal. Um, so it's not there. There is a flux sensor, though. That's very exciting. Um, there's transparent aluminium. There's the unlocking of a casino. Oh, that sounds exciting. And an ice crystal. Okay, we might need that for some sort of cooling type things. Um, and then you over here. Oh, you're the same person, I think. Okay. Yeah, nobody's selling... Um, Nobody's selling that chunk of metal that we need. Okay, there's a trader just there that doesn't have the metal we need, but they do have some gold. They've got two lots of gold. And I feel like that might be a prudent thing to pick up whilst it's here. We're going to use that for, for some reason, aren't we? We're going to have to need gold for something. So 658 of our monies can go toward buying some lovely gold. There we go. We've gone back to sort of yodi medieval times of buying ourselves up loads of gold and such like. But there we go. I imagine that will be useful at some point. Have you got the metal bits we need? No, you do not. Has anybody got those metal bits we need? I'd like to do some upgrades around the place and nobody's got bits of metal. Given that this entire space station is made of metal, you thought maybe they'd have some. Okay, do you have some metal? No, you don't. No, you don't, but you've got various other exciting, very, very expensive things. Okay, right. Ah, hang on. Can we sell the gold for more than we bought it for? I think that's what we bought it for. Okay, right, never mind. Um, And your mission is to protect that thing for three and a half months in exchange for quite a lot of money. Okay, now again, the only problem is if we get attacked, if pirates come by and say, ooh, we want that shiny barrel of obviously toxic goo or whatever, then, um, then yeah, we can't do anything about it except lean out the window and shout at them. In fact, we're in space. Don't lean out the window. No leaning out of windows. That would be bad. Um, so yeah, we have to stay inside the window and shout at them. And that's just pointless because they can't hear you. So um, yeah, that is a problem. But that's a lot of money. We've done it once. We helped one person. And maybe it's not so bad. Maybe KL98 is just incredibly strict. And this here is just, you know, it's just a load of, it's a load of, I don't know, tea or something. We'll say it's tea. And KL98 don't like tea because they're wrong over there. That's where the coffee king lives or something. The space coffee king. There we go. That, that'll do the job. There we go. So we'll accept that. So we're not the bad guys after all, everybody. We're all fine. Okay, there's a smuggler just here who has some amorphous metal. Hello, Odo. How are you? So a solid alloy that is also an amazing conductor. Again, I feel like we should pick some of this up whilst it's kind of here. Let's grab a couple of bits of that. Yes, please. That'll do. We've still got an okay amount of money. What do we have in our inventory? So we've got a few bits and bobs now. We do have a few bits and bobs. Still know that metal we want. Um, I'm tempted to buy some more circuitry. Let's buy another couple of bits of that. There we go. We'll stock up on that whilst we seem to have you know, a half decent amount of money. Although we are paying a bit of money out to our employees, of course, because that's how it works. Have you got bits of metal? Hang on a minute. Hang on. You are an intergalactic smuggler, but... I am willing to buy shiny bits of metal off you. Okay, it's iron. A really cheap building material. Okay, so what did we need? 
to make these a bit cheaper. Lower the upkeep costs. It was two bits of... Two bits of... Oh, I thought it was the way around. Okay, we've got excess screws, everybody. Right, so yes, we need eight bits of that. That's going to be really expensive. That's going to be very expensive. Hang on, how much is eight bits? 1,000... Do you know what? We'll be okay. We'll be okay. So, buy eight lots of iron. Yes, please. Any old iron. And then... So we should be able to go to one of these bays then and go, okay, upgrade the bay, please. So let's get ourselves... I mean, do we want to lower the upkeep? Or do we want to increase the ideal landing fee? I think lowering the upkeep is a good thing. Because the sooner we lower that, you know, the sooner that happens, we're making money from that point onwards. We're saving a little bit of money each time. Let's do that. Okay, yes. Upgrade that to tier 1. For, oh, it costs 100 money as well. Oh, crikey. Okay, so it's gone from 350 to 330. Okay, that's not quite as much as I thought it might. Ah, and the next one is a big load of circuitry. Okay, I see where this is going. Do you know what, though? Let's just, let's upgrade each one. Let's just go, yes, please, upgrade that. Little bit of a saving each time. And just there. Yes, please. So that's, what, 20 each, 20 each month, I assume, we pay the upkeep. So we are saving, by doing that, 80 money, 80 space monies per month on just sort of maintenance around our base. Okay, I mean, it doesn't seem like much. It doesn't seem like much. But do you know what? That's fine. It's better than nothing. It's better than not saving any money at all, I suppose. And we have reached reputation level one. It's all very exciting. So we get ourselves 1,500 space credits. We get 250 research points, which is very good, because I think that means we can actually unlock some first level research stuff. And we've unlocked a billboard, which is where we can put adverts on and make a bit of money. We've got a hangar. So that means we can have multiple spaceships parking their ships rather than just one on our docking bays. A large dock is a bigger dock for bigger ships. And then a particle reactor generates high amounts of energy very cheaply. That could be useful. It's very expensive. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. That's exciting. Right, so pause time for a second because now let's go and look at the research. So the research is split up into commercial, defense, and utility. And what we can do is it looks like We've got 250 research points, and the first bit of research in each one of these is 250 research points. So, yeah, we can get one of these effectively for free. So what is going to be the most useful? What does that do? Your research facilities with 5% more efficient with every tier. Right, we don't have any of those. Or turret AI lowers the upheap cost of all turrets by 5%. Okay, that might come in useful later. We don't have any turrets either. And commercial AI studies lower upkeep costs by 5% each tier. Is that generic? That's just generic lower lower upkeep costs for everything by 5%. That, that's a bit of a no-brainer. Let's go for that. And that leads on to all sorts of other things. Fuel enhancements. We've got master of trade. Hang on, hang on. Upgrade that. Yes, please. So now we can see what these do. So that gives us 5% extra on fuel sales. That gives us, oh, that's cheaper items. That's hotels, if we get there. Better drinks. Increase the profit on alcohol and some very nice tea by 5% each tier. And then billboard tech. Unlock billboards with every tier. Billboards allow you to accept sponsorships from companies and put their posters on your station for a price. Oh, I'd quite like that. I'd like to get some billboards in. I think we can build a billboard right now. So we have 12,000 space monies. Now, what do we want to do now? Because I think we need some defense. We need some sort of defensive capabilities in here. Because if we don't put something in, we're going to get got by pirates. And it's going to be a bit embarrassing. So how about we branch that bit out. So there we go. And then in defense, because there are quite a few things along here. We've got power, we've got docking. And of course, yeah, now we can get hangars and things. There's defense with turrets and scanners. So scanners can actually scan for threats, you know, and they can pick up on them a little bit earlier. Then we've got commercial. What's in there? A cafe. Oh, there's a cafe. It requires 25 power, but there's a cafe. Oh no, I want to put a cafe in. I'd like to get a cafe in a space station. That sounds exciting. And a hygiene facility, which is 15,000 money. Yeah, let's not get that. Um, utilities, there's trading centers, a nice park, a staff quarters. Yeah, we can only hire one more person as well. Um, billboards, and then, yeah, there we go. That generates research, but it's really expensive. I think we might need to leave it a bit later until we get the research thing in. How about, how about we get in some sort of turret? 
If we put a turret... Oh, the other thing is, it's not going to have power, is it? If we put a turret... Hang on. Pop that just there. Okay, wonderful. So now it has no power. So what we could do is... We could put in... We could put in a particle reactor. That does cost, however, 428 monies per month. That's very expensive. That will generate lots of power, but it's quite costly. I think what we do to have a bit of defence, let's branch that out. So yes, please. So spend 500 on that and then get in a solar panel and put it there. There we go. I think that now, hang on. Oh, hang on. Come out of build mode. Go to there. There we go. There we go. We can see that our turret is now sort of seeking around the place, looking for baddies. So yeah, it can only go on this side. So it can only fire on this side. Obviously, it cannot fire through the through the space station because that would be silly. Well, hang on. You've got a mission. Protect that for two and a half months for a big pile of money. Do you know what? Yes. Yes, Frank Wilson. We will absolutely go for it. Surely the other person should be coming back to pick up their dodgy thing by now. Because we've still got the magic... The magic barrel of whatever it is. Stuff that's obviously not radioactive and is actually tea. Another mission. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll accept that. Let's accept lots of missions and draw lots of attention to ourselves. But yeah, that guy should be coming back at some point. I would have thought. But how's the money looking? The money is trickling in, not as quick as I would like. What's the actual limit when we get to up to reputation level two? We need 350 visitors and we've had 30. Yeah, that, that might take quite a long time. Oh, bother. Pirates are planning an attack on your space station. Either bribe them or take them on. Okay, we can bribe them for 2,000 of the monies or we can fight them off. I think we bribe them and then hope that people pay up on their things. Let's bribe them for now because I don't feel like we're adequately defended enough. Oh, should we have fought them then? Do you know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. We paid a bit of money. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we just need people to come back in and pick up all their dodgy contraband. <laughs> Pay us for it. Because, yeah, we seem to have had quite a lot of that stuff for an awfully long time. There we go. The dangerous chemicals have been retrieved. That is 5,000 monies coming our way, which is very welcome indeed. Right, what we need to do is, what we need, we need a staff kind of quarters or whatever it was. Because we need some more people because we need a lot more staff. We can have up to five, and we've only got four. So yes, we need more staff, because otherwise we'll get one more person, and we've kind of maxed out. So that was in here, wasn't it? So a staff quarters requires 15 power, and it's going to cost 475 per month. It's very expensive. It's really expensive, but I kind of think we need one. How about we pop that there? So that means we can now have... Oh, it's got no power... Oh, botherations. Do you know what? We might have to bite the bullet. We might have to say, okay, particle reactor, please. 3,000 money. That's another 428 per month. But we are doing lots of dodgy kind of smuggling protection jobs. So put a particle reactor in. Oh, now it needs, it needs somebody working there. Hang on a second. Oh, then we've got to pay out 700 money to go, <laughs> go and hire someone. Right. Hang on a second. Oh, there you go. We've got a big pile of money. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. Right, go into there. And yes, please, let us... Oh, we need to recruit somebody else. And it's going to cost a load of money. Okay, fine. So, Clara Brown is tough. John Johnson, the excellent name John Johnson, is optimistic. And we've got lazy, sensitive, or tough. Okay, Clara, 355 per month. You're tough. Um, or do we go for... About Tim Johnson, sensitive. You're just gonna be working in a in a power plant, Tim. So it doesn't matter whether you're sensitive or not. Just you know, don't talk to anybody, and they won't offend you. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go for Tim. We'll go for Tim because you know he's cheap and such. And we'll assign him into the particle reactor. So now we've actually got a bit of a surplus of power, which is a novelty. That's quite exciting. Okay, so now what do we want to do next? Maybe could we get ourselves a hangar? Get us as a hangar, that's even more people coming in. Yeah, let's do that. So, yes, please. 1,000 credits to expand. Hang on. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, it's going to have to go out that way, isn't it? So, um, hang on. No, we've got a space over here. We've got bits on this side. Um, have a hangar. Pop a hangar onto there. And does that not need people? Does that not need people? Hang on, what? Does that not need workers? No, apparently not. Hang on, what's the difference between a hangar and a docking bay? I don't fully understand. I thought a hangar was just a bigger 
version of a docking bay. Um, no, there's an entry fee. Oh, you can't you can't sort of refuel in there, but you can just get 100 monies every time somebody comes in. Let's up that to 115. Let's try and make a tiny bit more money. And I mean, do we put another hangar on the other side? They weren't that expensive, were they? Hang on, how much were they? 1500, you know what? Let's put another one there. I like the way they look. They look very exciting. They look very sort of uh, very bright and colourful. Okay, yeah, happy with that. Right, move time on nice and quick. Uh, your employees don't feel safe. Customers think the docking fee of Hangar 1 is too much. Ah, okay, do you know what? That's fine. 105 then. Sink. Sink that down to 105. Um, yeah, your employees don't feel safe. Average happiness is decreasing. We got a big pile of money. Thank you very much. Yeah, our security is moderate. That's not very good, is it? That's not very good. We need more people to work. We need more jobs, by the way. Can we have some more missions? Can we have some more dodgy jobs? Yay, there we go. Um, yeah, dodgy barrel of obviously radioactive, terrible kind of chemicals. Yep, yeah, absolutely. We'll have that. Thank you. How are we looking to the 350 visitors? 86 now. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get up to uh, reputation level two. Okay, fine. Message understood. Okay, so the message I'm getting up here is that people don't feel safe. And there's a kind of safety thing there. So our security is moderate. So I think we need another turret. I think we need to put another turret on this side because this side is sort of covered, but this side is not. But can we afford it? That's a question. So when we expand that out, that's going to be a thousand. The turret is 2,500, so that's 3,500 right there. And then it's going to need power. So that's 1,250. So that's going to be, hang on, 3,500, 4,750 maths with Penge. That does not leave us with very much money at all. Yeah, that leaves us a little bit short. Now we are looking after, hang on, come out of that. We are looking after quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of nefarious items on our space station. We're looking after a few dodgy bits of contraband. So maybe... When the next one of those pays up, we will increase our security a little bit. But yeah, until that's sort of, until that's done, I don't think, I don't think we should do it. I don't think we should spend the money. Because yeah, we're looking okay there, look. And then it's going to get to the end of the month. And we're going to pay the wages. And down it comes. Oh, employee revolt. Billy Johnson is unhappy and he's asked for a higher wage. Um, Okay. Raise his or her wage by 15%. Train the employee for 25% more cost or fire the employee. I don't know how much training is. That could go horribly wrong. If training is 5,000 and we have to pay 25% more for it, then we're going to go bankrupt. Do you know what? Yeah, just have a higher wage. You didn't need to revolt. You could have just, you know, come to ask me, but okay. Um, yeah, we'll look after that dodgy thing for you. Give us all the money, please. We need all the money in the world. Thank you. Oh, apparently there's a radiation storm and I don't know what to do about this. What do I do with in this situation? Um, there's hammers on top of things. Do we need to do we need to do something? I genuinely don't know what's happening. I mean, okay, there's all sorts of green bits flying around. Obviously, yeah, that's radiation because radiation is you know, green and glowy. That is known. But oh, hang on. Mission 6,509. Yes, we'll take your money off you for that. But um, yeah, I don't quite know what to do with with all of this. Do we need to repair things? Are these going to break at some point and we just need to keep an eye on the things that are outside of this shield? I imagine that at some point we build a bigger defensive shield and it keeps everything safe. But um, yeah, right now, can we just sort of hunker down? Can we just shelter in place inside? That'd be nice. 12 damaged modules. Repair them for 10,000. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so lots of things. Ah, they've taken damage down here. Okay, right. Let's repair them one by one. So repair that for 900. Okay, this is quite helpful. This is quite helpful. Right, okay, right. We can repair some stuff. So yes, please. Repair that and repair that for 900. And then repair the solar panels. Let's do it bit by bit. So there we go. So we've repaired that. Now I was hoping to use the money to build some defenses. But no, of course, we got radiationed. So now, hang on. Mission... Do you know what? We'll take it. It's 2,000 monies, but yep, absolutely. We'll take your 2,000 monies. Thank you. Right. How many of these have we got? We could do with somebody else just popping by and picking up their dodgy contraband. And then when they do that, we should have enough money to build ourselves an extra bit of defense. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. This is all fine. This is all absolutely fine. Right. Okay. So go to build, branch that bit out, pop us a turret on the top. Oh, no. Power. It's going to require power, isn't it? And we haven't got enough power anymore. Um, okay. P 
pop that into there. So that's currently not working, but that's okay. That's fine. That is, that's as we expected it to be. But yeah, solar panel can't go there and it can't go on there and it can't go on there. Okay. Where would we like to put a solar panel? Or can we do something with this? Hang on. Can we make this work better? Can we upgrade this? Lowers upkeep, increases the amount of energy generated. What do we need? Couple of bits of, couple of bits of metal. Okay, hang on. Right, if a trader comes by with some bits of metal, then that's fine. Um, Billy Johnson. Oh, hang on, that's the same one as before. Um, you are a bit annoying, Billy Johnson. Okay, fine, we'll up your wage a tiny bit more, Billy Johnson, but don't come asking again, because you're pushing your luck a bit. We are in space, and there are airlocks, all right? Don't mess with us. Okay, Billy Johnson's pushing it. Billy Johnson is being fired. Bye-bye, Billy Johnson. Bye-bye. You've, uh, you've, you've been a bit silly with it there, Billy Johnson. We had to get rid of you because you were just being very daft indeed. Um, right, okay, let's get somebody new in. So recruit. Now, here's a question. Here is a thing. So what we could do is, when we recruit, we get to look at that list, and then that's it. But when we've, yeah, we've finished the list, that's it, it goes away. And then we have to pay another 700 to go and look at the list again. Is it worth, because we've done a few jobs for people, We've you know, people have been picking up their dodgy stuff, we've got an okay amount of money. I think what we do is, we get another particle reactor, pop it right there, then we get two people in. So we hire two more people, and then we can put somebody in there, that'll generate power, that switches the turret on, everyone feels safe, everyone's a winner, it's all marvellous. So, okay, right, change this, recruit some people, yes please, and... They're all really, really expensive. Okay, we'll have Tim Wilson. He can go and work on the uh, platform thingamajig just there. And then in here. So Emily is smart. Ryan is smart. Ryan is tough. And Sveta is hardworking. Okay, and you're one of the cheapest. So plus 10 efficiency. So that might mean you generate a bit more power if we put you in the power plant thing. Yeah, okay, happy with that. So particle reactor, that can be... Uh, Sveta, just there, and then over here, that can be Tim. Okay, wonderful. So now we have enough power, and hopefully, hopefully people feel like we're a bit more defended, because we have got two turrets now up and running. Or do they want more? Do they want more turrets? We do have a little bit of capacity for... Oh, we're getting all this money coming in. We've got a little bit of capacity for power. So we could add a few more shooty things in. Hang on, can we buy any metal from you? Yes, we can. Um, just buy... How much have you got? 12. What would it be if we bought 12? 2,000 monies. Let's buy 10. Knock it down to 1,800. Yeah, okay. Buy that. Yes, please. We're going to spend quite a lot of money. But then, if we go to this just here, we can upgrade this. We can increase the amount of energy that thing generates. Yes. So currently 225, up to 244. And then, can we lower the upkeep as well? Yes, 300 monies. What's the upkeep now? 428, down to 399. That's not to be sniffed at. Okay, there we go. And then I think we'll spend some money on repairing some stuff because we still have a few broken bits and bobs around the place. There we go, repair that, repair that, and repair that. And then wait for some more dodgy jobs to come in so we can, you know, get more money from being slightly illegal. More money has come in and I think we spend 5,000 of our money. So half our money to repair everything. Because we might as well. So yes, there we go. Everything is now back in tip-top shape. Marvellous. And we do have two... We do have two cannons. But yes, I'm thinking what we might need to do is... Hang on, move time on. We might need to get one cannon on each side. So we need one on this side and then one over there as well which will require a little bit of money. It shall require some investment, shall we say. So yeah, we could do with getting some uh, some more dodgy deals going on so we can get some more money. We're paying out 1,188 per month to our employees. Yeah, we need some people to hide their contraband with us. There's a couple of people yet to collect, but can we have some more missions, please? <laughs> Please leave your dodgy, suspicious, highly legal things with us. We'll take care of them. There we go. So some money just came in. How much do we have now? Just one thing. We only have one thing now in stock that we're you know, sort of uh, sort of keeping safe for somebody. So I think let's expand this bit out here. So one grand for that and defense. Pop a turret on the top. Okay, that's better. Our defense is now up to high. 
that's very good. So hopefully people will feel a little bit more comforted by that. And then I think if we just put time on very quickly indeed, we should be able to get to 350 visitors and then go up to reputation or what was it? It was reputation, wasn't it? Kind of, yeah, reputation, standing, whatever it was, level two. Oh no, the police are coming. Oh, someone's called the cops on us. This is quite bad. Okay, right. So police inspection. The police are coming to inspect your station for corruption. Either bribe them or convince them that your station is not corrupt. Oh dear. Okay, this could be a problem. So we can bribe them for 1,300 money. I mean, that's a little bit ironic, isn't it? Given that they're on their way over here to check for corruption and we can bribe them. <laughs> I mean, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. You can't say, ah, you're corrupt. Then we just give you a pile of money. You go, okay, that's fine. Bye-bye now. Or let them come. The only thing is we do have some dodgy contraband. We have some dodgy stuff in storage. And um, yeah, they're not going to like that. They might take it away. And then the people that we obviously you know, are looking after it for are going to get cross. We might need to bribe them for 1,300 money. We just bribe the police. All of our morals of doing things right and being a nice place and being upstanding and good. They, they've just gone. They've gone out of the window. It's harsh out here in deep space. And there we go. Marvellous. We've arrived at reputation level two. Another two and a half thousand money. That is not to be sniffed at. And 250 research points. And now we've unlocked a laser, a repair bay, a restaurant and a storage building. Okay, that's quite interesting. So that's the maximum item capacity. Oh yeah, we're nowhere near that. A restaurant, however. I would like to build a cafe and a restaurant. They are quite expensive. That's the only problem. Okay, so how about now? Now we're quite established. Why don't we put the docking fee up to 78? And let's put the fuel price up to 15. In fact, docking fee up to 80. Let's round it up to 80. So there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll keep our eye on this bit up here because that tells us if people are not happy with the prices or whatever. Now maybe, maybe we've been underpricing ourselves quite a bit, which would be quite bad. Oh, and yes, we can do research, can't we? Um, 250 research points. We could lower upkeep costs by another 5%. We could get cheaper items. We could lower the upkeep of turrets. Or we could, yeah, that's a science thing. Okay, how much do the turrets cost to upkeep? 285 and there are three of them that might be worth doing that might be worth doing do you know what let's go for that shall we let's get some turret ai yeah okay there we go so now it's down to that that's not what i wanted to click on it's 271 so not brilliant but you know, it, again it's better than nothing any saving is better than no saving at all so there we go we're saving a little bit of money and now we need 600 visitors to get through to level three Okay, that's, that's quite a lot. Um, right, okay, how are we looking for money, however? Nobody is complaining about the prices. Why don't we put the prices up there again of that? So 110, synchronise the hangers. And then over here, and again, nobody's complaining. How about 85 and a fuel price of 20? Let's see what people think about that. Are people happy about that? Right, okay, the docking fees are too much. Okay, to bring it down to, I don't know, 82? Can we try 82? Anybody going for 82? Oh yeah, we've, we've got rid of some of our contraband. That's quite nice. Yay. People are happy with the fuel price though. People are happy with the fuel prices, which is very good. That is quite a good thing to know. Okay, right, good. So things are ticking over quite nicely. I mean, yeah, we are a little bit short of money and we're a little bit short of people coming by asking us to keep their contraband, which is kind of where we're getting all of our money from. I mean, that's quite nice, but now I don't think we've got any. No, we have no dodgy stuff in storage at all. Uh, criminals, criminals of deep space, come and give us all your slightly dodgy, potentially illegal and highly explosive items. We'll look after them for you. We've got a cupboard. This is deep space cupboard. It's a perfect place to put all your stuff. I think more docking bays might be required because we have ourselves the staff quarters, wherever that might be. Where is the staff quarters? Just there, but we're not making use of it. We have ourselves the option to have four more employees but we're not using that at all. So this staff quarters here is being used to allow us to have one extra person, which is a little bit silly. We're not making the most of that. So how about over here, we get two more docking bays. Let's get a couple more docking bays in. That sounds like a fun thing to do. So um, docking bay, oh, repair bay. Refuel and repair customer ships with this high-tech repair bay. It costs 5,000 monies, but I think that could be quite good. People are going to pay quite a lot of money to have their ships repaired. We have got the money and we've got the power. Do you know what? Let's have a repair bay. Let's put a fancy repair bay in. And then let's have... Is there anything else we can have? 
Is there anything else? No, there is not. There's a laser. Meltdown asteroids. Okay, that sounds like a fun thing to have. We haven't seen asteroids quite yet. I imagine they'll come and blow stuff up in a bit. Um, and then how about a regular docking bay just there, just to make the most of things. Um, and then let's go to here. We obviously need some more people. Pirates. Okay, how about we fight them off? Now, I don't know how this works. Right, pause time for a second. Hang on, pause. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to pause. Hang on, our turrets are shooting. Our turrets are shooting. Okay, so we have ourselves multiple turrets. They're fighting. We've got a shielder up in the middle. So here we go. Can we... Turrets, can we can we target specific things? Because you're firing all over the place. Here we go, look. That one's on fire a bit. That's quite good. Right, that one's gone down. That one's gone. That one is also in a bad way. That one's in a bad way as well. There's a green thing in space. There's things in space. What do we do with the things in space? Do we pick them up? Are they money? Are they money? Hang on. Yes, they're just money floating about in space. Uh, we do have three damaged modules and we are quite poor all of a sudden. Okay, right, hang on a minute. We need to get this up and running. We need to get the repair bay up and running so we can get money from it. Uh, and we did pick up some loot as well, which is quite nice. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Oh no, we need to pay loads of money to look at the applicants. Okay, we need two people who are possibly possibly terrible i mean yeah you two will do because you're cheap there we go <laughs> who do you want working in a repair bay for spaceships somebody who doesn't know what's happening there we go it's like putting me in there um okay um erna can go into there and the docking fee can be 275 and the fuel can be hang on what does what do they pay for fuel next door 20 and no one's complained about the fuel prices so yes and yes for the repair bay and then, hang on a minute. Hang on, why isn't that synced? 82 and 20, hang on, right. Sync there and there. That should put that back into there. There we go. And, um, yeah, change that and assign you. Okay, wonderful. But now we have three damage modules and we don't have very much money at all. And we have a very, very fancy repair bay thing here that nobody is using. Oh, botherations. Oh, that's... Should that be glowing like that? Maybe because it's been upgraded. I don't know. It, it looks it looks very exciting, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that. I think it's because it's been upgraded. I hope it is. Oh, no, we've gone into negative money. <laughs> oh, dear. Somebody come and use the repair bay. Somebody come and use this. It's very exciting. Hang on a minute. Let's put it down to 260. There we go. It's a bargain. It's an absolute deal. We've gone back. We've gone bankrupt. Minus three and a half. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll take an emergency loan. So we've got three and a half grand. Oh, dear. Oh dear, it's all going wrong. It's all going quite wrong indeed. Look at that. Repair Bay 1 has not made any profit in three months. Oh, I thought that was going to be brilliant. I thought that was going to make us an awful lot of money. But but no, it's done nothing. All it's done is lose lots of money. That is very bad. And then Docking Bay 5, which is that one. That hasn't made any profit in three months either. That's all very unfortunate because they were the big things we put in. The, the big hope. They were the big hope to try and get us some money. And um, yeah, they've not worked. Oh dear. Deary me. Okay, I mean, when it gets to the end of July, I imagine that might possibly be it. <laughs> that might be it for uh, Deep Space Covered, which would be a shame. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We might turn it around at some point. We did not turn it around. The turning around did not happen. We tried to turn around and we fell on our faces. Yes, we've gone bankrupt. Okay, right. So that did not go entirely according to plan, did it? That went all sorts of a little bit wrong. Um... Okay, fine. Bankrupt is unfortunate. Right, there we go. Right, so we're back at the menu screen again. Okay, okay, right. Hang on. I've got an idea. So welcome, everybody, to Evil Deep Space Cupboard, because everybody knows in sci-fi that you can have alternate realities. You can have parallel dimensions. In Star Trek, which we were talking about earlier with the Ferengi and all that kind of stuff, there is the Prime Universe, which I think is our universe. And in this universe, the Federation, they're all good. So humanity has got this great big Federation going on, and it's all nice, and it's about inclusion and friendship and understanding and all that kind of stuff. But in the Mirror Universe, so in the parallel dimension to the Prime Universe, they don't have the Federation. Humans have formed the Terran Empire and they go round and they murder people and it's all very violent and stabby and evil and sinister. And Joe, you know, that's a staple thing. That's been done in many, many sci-fi shows. So here we go. This is evil Deep Space Cupboard. So this is the evil equivalent in some sort of terrible parallel dimension to the lovely, very nice Deep Space Cupboard that we just saw. You know, have some financial problems. Somebody else took over. It's fine. New administration sorted it all out. They got loads of tea and it's all good. So I think, yeah, let's have another go, but with evil 
evil deep space cupboard. They've got a kind of scary sort of logo thing and everything's red because, you know, red, danger, evil, all that kind of stuff. So let's give this a go, shall we? Oh, botherations. It was all going so very well here. Over at evil deep space cupboard, we had all sorts of docking bays going on and we had ourselves, very importantly, a cafe. There's a cafe just there. And I was just going to start speaking about the cafe because it sells lots of lovely things and it seems to make quite a profit. It seems to make quite a bit of money. But as you can see, there is an asteroid incoming. And, um, and there it is. I imagine it's one of these bits just here. One of these big chunks of rock that are coming in. So, um, I don't know what we can do with these. Now, our thing there, our turret, can't fire at them because it hasn't got any power. Which I was just about to sort out. I was just going to extend something over here and, um, and put on... Hang, can we still do that? No. I was going to put a power, a, a solar panel thing on and then power this up. But, um, it, this has happened just at the wrong moment. So, okay. We're about to get hit by asteroids then, and I don't think we can do anything about it at all. We can do nothing about the asteroids, so boom, in they come. Right, asteroids have hit us. Ouch. Okay, right, is that it? Is that the extent of it? It's all done. Oh, that thing is falling apart. We might need to repair that for an awful lot of money, but I don't want it to explode or whatever. Anyway, the cafe. There's the cafe. It sells some exciting things. I mean, yo, ignore this. Ignore the coffee. We, we don't want that. In fact, you know what? Let's put the price of that up. And then it sells Kerula's tea. I mean, yeah, it's tea. It's a wonderful thing. 60. And then Kjölnig. It sells that as well. Uh, we'll have that for 90, please. Because why wouldn't we want to do that? Um, Docking Bay 4 has been destroyed. Um, 431C will be taken for station repair. Oh. Oh, we've lost... Ah, uh, right. Yes, we've lost Docking Bay 4 in its entirety. It's kind of fallen off a bit. Okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, I think we can recover from this. I think we can recover from this. I mean, yeah, we could do with just getting up to, uh, we could do with getting up to level two. That would be very good. And again, not many people coming by asking if they, um, if they can leave their stuff here. Hardly anybody, in fact. I'm wondering if it's tied to the security. So if our security is quite high, they look at this place and go, do you know what? I'm not going there. I'm not asking them to look after my stuff because they're quite highly secure. They're good guys. Whereas really, yeah, we want low security, so all the nefarious ne'er-do-wells are going to come here and leave all their dodgy stuff with us. But, uh, but okay. Okay, this will be interesting. So another police inspection, but this time I don't think we have any contraband. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything dodgy on us. I think we got rid of it. I'm now trying to rack my brains. We can't check the inventory, that's the thing. We can't see if there is something. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. So, okay, let the police come along. So a police scan. Do we have anything botherations okay we do have something right okay put it put it in a box somewhere put it in a box lock it away i'm sure it's all fine yep H hello hello officers how are you yeah lots of lovely scanning beam things there i think you'll find everything is absolutely fine if you could just you know hurry it along a bit Ah, right. Okay, right. We we got found out. I thought we didn't have any yeah i would have checked i would have looked at the inventory had we been able to do that but uh bother Okay, right, so we've been found with illegal items. We've been given a fine. We're down to 2,300. That was that was a hefty fine indeed. That was a very hefty fine. Oh, I thought we didn't have any illegal items. I thought they'd all gone. Oh, no, and that's removed the chance for us to actually get any money back from that either. We got fined 4,000 monies. Oh, my word, that's very, very expensive. Okay, Right, a bit of a bit of a costly mistake there. But do you know why it's fine? The police were just doing their job. They're just being, you know, dutiful and such. And evil deep space cupboard gets its reputation level up to two. So that gives us money and research points and lots of other bits and bobs as well. Right, don't build a repair bay because that was rubbish. Maybe a restaurant. A restaurant might be a fun thing. Although we have maxed out our number of workers which is a bit of a problem. So what we need to do is we need to build the uh, we need to build the staff quarters, which is quite expensive. There we go. And now, oh, I don't think we can afford to build a... I don't think we can afford to build the restaurant now. Hang on a minute. Where is it? Commercial. The restaurant is seven and a half grand. And we've got 7,700. That's that's pushing it a bit, isn't it? Right. Hang on a second. Oh, it's got no... It's got no power. Of course it's got no power. Nothing has any power around here. Um, okay, right. Let's see if we can upgrade this or something. Can we make that? Can we make that better? Right, we need some bits of metal. Come on, traders. Can we buy some metal off you, please? Oh, good. A very convenient radiation storm. This is good. I imagine what happens is you buy upgrades and such like, and this kind of bubble force shield thing gets bigger. It moves out and out and it covers up your little sort of uh, your bits that you've added on. 
so you know they don't take damage and stuff because right now everything is taking damage and we cannot do a thing about it we're being assailed by the green wibbly things and that's it it's just you know it's happening 12 damaged modules repairing that is more money than we have however hello proper legitimate merchant let us buy some stuff off of you that is very nice then we can go to here we can upgrade this give it a core upgrade yes please that generates a lot more energy does that mean that our staff quarters is now up and running yes it is that's good but now we don't have that much in the way of electricity anymore so now we need oh crikey's hang on a second hang on we've got some space over there so how about down here particle reactor just there then we have to do you know what let's just do it let's just get on with it shall we we're gonna put in a restaurant because we want one in there we go there's not enough power because nobody's working that particle reactor thingamajig power thing right hang on a second hang on so what we need is go over to um hang on a minute come out of build go to there and pause time a sec right get some more people in it's gonna cost 700 to look at the people let's get in I mean, in the in the restaurant, you want someone optimistic. Let's get Gus in because he's a bit cheaper. And then over in the other thing, in the energy generator, uh, Adam Williams, sensitive. That's fine. You can work in there. Right. Okay. So this is particle reactor. Um, that can be Adam Williams. And then over here in the wonderful, wonderful space cafe, um, let us have Gus Brown. In fact, two people can work there. Nutrition pods will put the price up to 80. Organic food. Ooh, la -di -da, 130 and drinks can be 40. Okay, wonderful. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's not working because it needs another person. <laughs> okay, do you know what? It's fine. Let's just view some more applicants. Let's just throw our money away. Um, we don't want a pessimistic person working in the cafe. That would be bad. Um, Samuel. Yeah, let's get you in, Samuel. You're, you're sort of affordable and you sound like a lovely person. So in you come, Samuel. There we go. Right. The restaurant is there. It's opposite the cafe. So you have a choice. Go and get yourself some drinks. Go over there. Get a little bit of food. Okay, wonderful. So uh, yes, now we just have to repair everything, which is going to be horribly, horribly expensive. The drinks price is too high. Okay, 35. We're dropping it down. Fine. I've just had a really terrible realisation. So this is evil deep space cupboard. This is the deep space cupboard that's in the parallel world to ours, where everything is kind of flipped on its head a bit. And that means that here, coffee is the best drink and tea is the bad drink. Oh my goodness me, I don't know if I like it round here anymore. It's all very confusing indeed. I mean, who knows what Kyung is? I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not entirely sure. However, I suspect evil deep space cupboard might go the way of the uh, the deep space cupboard from the prime universe. There we go. We've gone bankrupt over here as well. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. We've had a couple of goes at it. It has not really worked out, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I thought we did okay. I thought we did okay. But um, but yeah, we did keep getting got by the random events. They did cause us a bit of damage and such like. It's not very good to have your space station held together with, you know, spit and string and hope and such like. So uh, yeah, those damage modules, I imagine, caused our people a little bit of concern, given that the, uh, the space station was, you know, sort of falling apart and full of holes and whatever. But uh, okay, never mind. I mean, we didn't get to look at a lot of the fancy things we could build. We didn't get too far into the build menus either to see. Yeah, I imagine there's loads of stuff. I imagine there's lots of very wonderful, exciting things. But uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I mean, we'll take a loan, I suppose, but it's not going to do anything. So do you know what? We'll pretend that somebody else comes in and takes a loan. We'll just pop back to the menu. So there we go. That was Space Station Tycoon. And I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a lot of fun, even though we were evidently terrible at it. I mean, we went bankrupt, not once, but twice. So yeah, we weren't very good at that. I'm not entirely sure what we could have done different. Yeah, we had the docking bays. We put cafes in. We put a restaurant in. We kind of did what I thought was the right stuff to do to try and get money in. But yeah, it didn't work out. It did not work out. But do you know what? Never mind. Never mind. We had fun playing it. And it looks great as well. It does look very nice. And I like the fact that you know, the ships zoom around the place and they all come in and land and they actually do properly dock as well. And you know, the people have got names on the ships and they've got jobs and ages and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it does feel you know sort of a little bit more animated than just having the space station and nothing going on. It does feel a little bit more like the world is lived in with all the spaceships flying around the place and what have you but uh but yes it was not to be for us so yes indeed deep space cupboard and evil deep space cupboard will just you know have to be taken
taken over by new people who are significantly better at running space stations than I am, which I think is probably, you know, literally anybody else, I imagine. But there we go. We shall finish things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this, this amazing display of space station management ineptitude. If you did, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue! You, Sarah, cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, Maddo. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor.